Hi everyone, this is the walkthrough for the December 14th Gas Numbered Room Sudoku by Bill Murphy. We have normal Sudoku rules as usual, and the clues outside the grid tell us the digit that appears in cell number X, where X is the first cell from that direction. So if we had a 6 right here, and this cell had a 7 in it, then the clue is telling us that 6 appears in the 7th cell. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This would be a 6. So that's how those work. And Bill has been very nice to us here. I believe almost all of the clues are immediately resolvable. So let's do that. This clue in row 1 is a 4. We have a given 4 in the row and we can see it's in the fifth cell. So the first digit in this row has to be a five. The three in row two is in the fourth cell, so this is a four. The two is in the third cell, so this is a three. The one is in the second cell, so this is a two. The nine here is in the eighth cell from this direction. The eight is in the seventh cell, and the seven is in the sixth, sixth cell. Um, Continuing with the rows, but from the other direction. So we already looked at three from this direction, but from this direction, it's one, two, three, four, five, six away. So that's a six. The two is now seven cells away, and the one is eight cells away. The nine is in the second cell, eight is in third, seven is in fourth, and six is in the fifth. So those are all right ends. We have a couple of them in the columns, maybe more than a couple. Um, five in this column is in the eighth cell, so that goes there. And now eight in this column from this direction is in the ninth cell, so this is going to be a nine. The five here is in the second cell in the column. Uh, we don't have the eight yet, but by Sudoku, the eight has to go here. That's the only place left for it. So this is going to be a 7 because the 8 is in the 7th cell. In this column, 9 is in the 7th cell, so that's a 7. Uh, we don't know about 1 yet, and we don't know about 3 and 2 yet. I suspect we'll have to do a little Sudoku to get those, but let's keep going from here. We have two digits left in this column. We need 1 and 9. There's only 1 there. There's a 9 down here. There are two digits left in this column as well, 1 and 9 again. There's a 9 here, so 1 and 9. In this row, we need 1, 3, and 6. And there's 3s here, placing 3. These are going to be 1 and 6 in some order. In this row, we need 2, 3, 4, and 8. This can only be 2. We have a naked single there. That cell sees all of the digits except for 2. And then we have 3, 4, and 8, which I don't think are resolved yet. That can't be 3, though. Uh, we still need a 2 in this box, and it can't go in these cells because of that 2. So these are also from 3, 4, 8. We have 3 and 8 here, giving 4. And this is 3 or 8. This row we need 1, 5, and 6. This can't be 5. Neither of these can be 6, so this is a 6. This column we need 1, 3, 4. There's a 1 here, so 1 goes there. These in the box are 6 and 7. This is a 9. And these are 1 and 4. We know the order from the 4 in the row. What next? Uh, this row we still need 2, 3, and 8. This one is not 3. Okay, this row we need 1, 5, 6. This can't be 1 or 5, so it's our 6, and that resolves 1 and 6 up here. This is again a 1, 5 pair. It's going to give us a pair in the column. These are 7 and 9. We know the order from the bottom of the grid. These are 3 and 4. We have a 3, 4 pair in the central row. These are 2 and 8. These are 6 and 7. 
and I think now we're going to look at the central box and see what we can do. Uh, one is going to be down here. Two is also going to be down here. Nine can only go here. We need four, six, four, three there. That gives us a three, four pair because of these six, seven in the column. So this is six, seven, six, seven, six. Uh, why did I mark two here? I marked the wrong row. That's better. Okay. Um, all right, let's look at this column real quick. Um, the one clue at the bottom, one in the column can only go in these two cells. Um, we know the one in this box is in row six. We know the one in this box is in row three. This clue, though, tells us that one needs to be either in the fourth cell or the eighth cell. Well, it's clearly not in the eighth cell. So it is in the fourth cell. That's a one. So five, one, five, one. Get rid of those. Get rid of four from that cell. Uh, four is going to have to be in one of these. Um, this is two or eight. Uh, let's see if we can do the same. Yeah, we can do the same thing here. Probably could have done this a while ago. Um, the two in this column is either in the third cell. Well, that's not a two, so it's in the eighth cell. And that's two, eight. And this is not actually this is two three eight from this eight this is three and this is eight the two here means this is two we just need a five in the column we need seven and three four here and now our three is going to resolve this three is in the sixth cell which is this one so three four three four three four 